make sure that banks give you auditor report quarterly and the regulators will, will give us seven years result in the group. So I think when it comes to short-term measures, uh, definitely as a leader, you need to have your short-term, medium-term, and long-term. Now, in the short-term, I think it's going to be very, very challenging because you will need to do business with people that the CBN, the former CBM, called those that have corrupt the system, those that are funding crime, that you need to sit down with stakeholders. And some of those stakeholders are those, like the Bureau de Change. Do you have to go back to them? Are you going to bring in a new strategy? Do you want to partner with the bank? Do you want to partner with the Bureau de Change? You still have the money agents also, international money agents. And unfortunately, again, for Yemi Cardoso, you also have the, the, the app, well, I call them the, the money agent that comes through the, the digital app also that exchange money for Nigerians. So most of these remittances don't find themselves into Nigeria. They find themselves into the accounts of the people in Naira in Nigeria. So those are part of the challenges, and those are the people that he has to look at and say, mm -hmm. do I really want to work with these people? So if I want to work with them, what are the short-term benefits? The short-term benefits should just be one thing, stabilize the exchanges, stabilize the exchanges, settle the exchanges. I think that's what he's more interested in. Paying those bad luck, I, 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 I wonder how much they are. If they're up to 10 billion, like we say, then that means our reserve is running on the negative based on their audited result, even if they've come out to deny that. But uh, paying up those backlog who could be a game changer because what we mean about those backlog is that we have effects in the system. And once you have effects in the system, the demand and supply will come to pay. Once you begin to pay the airlines industry, and then the airlines said, okay, you know what? We cannot begin to collect um, ticket from Nigerians in Naira. Then that will bring down the pressure. The pressure will not be on the dollar. And then you see the Naira will stabilize. Because now most airline agencies are charging Nigerians to pay them in dollars. And so Nigerians are looking for it because it's not cheaper to pay in dollars than in Naira. They will tell you, okay, if you want to pay in Naira this amount, you want to pay in dollars this amount. So Nigerians are not sorting for dollars. So they rather pay in dollars so that they will bring down. And so that is creating the volatility that you are seeing in the, in the uh, especially the secondary market. Mm. Mm. Now he also spoke about uh, freeing the freeing up uh, the operations of foreign exchange, um, which has been strained by speculative demands. That aspect of speculation has has uh, is one issue that um, the CBN has tried to deal with over the years, and it's finding it challenging. Is it something? I wonder how you see him addressing. Look, this you matter. you cannot you cannot take speculators out of the market. Really, globally, mm. speculators are always there. So you can't say, oh, you want to scream there. You can't take the, the, the only thing you can do for speculators is to get their fingers born. How? Come up with policies. If your policy, speculators are, are striving on uncertainty. Mm -hmm. So they strive on uncertainty. So create certainty into the system. You know, the former CBN governor said that time that the speculators were going to get their fingers born because the CBN is ready to pump in more dollars. Yes. So yes. once you have those supplies... And we saw some reaction from them at, at some point. At and some then point, let afterwards, out. everything so went back to normal. Once you, 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 mm. you create the market, the speculators, who are, they are there to make money. They call them, they are there to speculate to make money. And they are the ones that get their hand born. You cannot stop speculators from any market globally. They, you just come up with policy. You don't need to partner with speculators. What has been our challenges it has nothing to do with what the speculators are. The are just um, striving on our, our uncertainty. So what do you do? Keep certainty. What is the certainty? Increase supply. Once you have supply, I can meet up with my demands. I can go in there. You, you resume. Because now, officially it's not been said, but officially banks no, don't give PT again. Yeah. Banks doesn't give school fees again. So those are the pressures that are affecting the, 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 um, the parallel market. And then they will say again, again, because of that, why is the bank not able to meet all those demands? The bank says the CBN, they have a backlog of about 10 billion that they've used that the CBN is supposed to refund to them. And the CBN, the former, the acting governor, the acting governor said that within two weeks, they are going to pay the bank some of this backlog. But it's over two weeks now, that never happened. So maybe he was stopped because he knew he was going to leave, putting all the, all the pressure on uh, Yemi Kadoso. Uh, and I think if he has to come up with the formula, then we'll have a change. But again, we have a challenge. The challenge is supply. Yes. Let's not deceive ourselves. We have supplies from four major sources. We have from Nigerians in the diaspora, mm. we have from um, foreign direct investors, we have from foreign portfolio investors, and we have from trade. And our major trade supply is uh, crude oil. Now, oil thieves are there, we don't, we don't sell more of the crude oil. So 
won't have the kind of supply we, we, we normally have. So that will cause a shortage. Nigeria in diaspora, or you look at the parallel market, you want to go to the parallel market, the digital hub has helped them to pay this money and then they give the Nigerians who will want ever the money here, Naira. So those remittances are not coming back. Remember, there was a time that Nigeria in the diaspora remittance was more yes. than what we even made in crude oil. Yeah. Foreign direct investors, you must create the environment. Microeconomy environment is very, very, is very, very challenging at the moment. So they won't want to come, especially when you have an exchange rate in the parallel market that is going as high as, as 1,000. And then even the official market, you hover between 800, 700, 750. They want a stable rate to come in. The same thing with foreign portfolio investors. Those that are here have not been able to, ex to export their money back to their country. Mm -hmm. There are some of them, those some, when you see that, oh, you have foreign investors playing the Nigerian market, they are those monies that are trying here. Since the money cannot find their way back into the country, now goes back into the stock market. So uh, you need to create that window. And when Mr. President was talking in his inaugural speech, he said one thing he wants, he wants investors to come in here, mm. do business, and be able to repatriate their money back. So we need to fix these four fundamental areas. If we are not fixing them, we are just playing around.